Hi everyone, sorry it's been a while since I've done a video and you'll notice that I'm using my phone again. The reason being is that the trusty camera on the tripod, the rig, uh, the camera doesn't work so well in low light conditions which is this entire apartment really when I get in from work. So until I get some studio lighting we shan't be, I'm going to stick to using the phone because it's just a better picture, it's got a light on it and it just, it just works better. So anyway, that out of the way. Today's video is a book review of The Moon is a Harsh Mistress by Robert A. Heinlein. I've been reading it for a while and it's taken longer than I thought but I've finished now so one thing I do like is the cover, very nice edition of the book. And the story tells of Luna or the Moon and its relationship with Earth or Terra. And uh, the story evokes libertarian themes and I'm very much interested in that because I subscribe to that particular political ideology. It's narrated in the first person by the main character Manuel Garcia O'Kelly and it tells of their um, revolutionary group and how they try to get control of the uh, of Luna and then try and get independence from Earth basically and without spoiling too much of the story it's uh, it's a very exciting read um, there's some humour in it as well uh, it's interesting how the the language that's used in the book so in that in the year 2076 a lot of Russian terms have been adapted and it's like an eclectic mix of language from all sorts of different uh, areas and it's it's very very good there's a lot of as I say a lot of humor um, it's written in a very very eclectic fashion uh, the three main characters there's Manuel as I said the main character who narrates the book uh, there's also his attractive girlfriend who's also a key member of the revolution there's the professor Bernardo de la Paz who's the, uh, the, the mastermind behind the whole thing and then Mike's best friend a almost omniscient computer supercomputer that's attained self-awareness called Mike of all things so he, know, he is like an all-seeing all-knowing computer like it's almost like an AI and he contributes massively towards the revolution. And on this, in this lunar society of 2076, there's uh, women outnumber men two to one. So there's a whole dynamic where women are sort of higher up in society and that whole dynamic plays out. Um, Heinlein creates a very well-imagined lunar society with a lot of different customs and you really do have to read the book for yourself to to see all of those those different uh, nuances. He also evokes themes uh, that link in, in my opinion, to the American Civil War. Uh, not Civil War, War of Independence against the British Crown, and that's much later on in the book without, without spoiling too many things. And suffice to say, keeping, keeping hold of, of the lunar surface once they've kicked out the authority is a story in itself and it's it's not going to be as easy as they think despite all of their planning um, towards that goal. So I can thoroughly recommend the book. It's uh, proposed to be Heinlein's best work but it's the first Heinlein book that I've read and uh, you know if much of his library is like this then um, I'm in for a real treat. So the next one I'm probably going to read of his is Stranger in a Strange Land because I've, I own that one. Uh, I also know, know that I want to read Starship Troopers um, because I've seen the film. I know the film's very different to the book, but it's one that I really do want to read, um, uh, having enjoyed this so much. So do check out my written review on Goodreads, and I would certainly advise that you pick this up and read through if you're a fan of science fiction or even you know libertarian, uh, libertarian stories. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.